All right, guys, what's up? We're back at it with Mary Beth and all. Today, we got two shoes. We got the Skechers Razor 3 and the Skechers Speed Elite. And you guys want to know the difference. Which one's better? Which one's worth, is it worth the price? Is it worth it? Actually, can you even buy this one yet? I don't think you can. Uh, not yet. But for the sake of What's no. What's the price difference on them? This is 130, this will be 185. Okay. Mm, okay. But for the sake of comparison, we'll just let them know what we think about the shoes. Yeah. So I don't want all the mumbo jumbo, extra nonsense, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Uh, what do you think about the Razor 3? You've used it for a few months now? Yeah, I've used it for a few months, been doing speed work in it, um, wore it in a 10K on July 4th, so that was my first like longer race in it. Did you win? I won my age group. That's a win. I got sixth with the women. My age group was 20 to 24 and I'm 24, so. Nice. Yeah. Edge did? <laughs> yeah, I think I, yeah. Um, I very much enjoyed the shoe. I was a little nervous. Um, I've never really worn a shoe like this, a soft flat. Never done a road race. I loved it. Yeah, that's a, your, your first like non-track race like mm -hmm. post collegiately. I mm -hmm. guess that was your first. I did a road mile last year, but I'm not counting that. No, I understand. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Razor 3. I have my, I really liked it. I have my pair right here. Ooh. You know. Here's a, here's a I had to get the Zebra Flash, but um, yeah, I'm jealous. I love this shoe. Well, I'm really jealous. I need, I need to look away. The, I mean, the thing is, it's, it's the same shoe. Okay. It's just a little special to me. But, I mean, it does everything I want it to do. It's a lightweight trainer. It could be my speed shoe. Mm -hmm. It could be my racing shoe. You know. Cloud X? Yeah, yeah, you know, you, people will see you and they go, oh, man, look at those. You're like, you know what they are. You're like, man, don't worry about it, man. Like, you got to yeah, kind of yeah, play yeah. it off a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, I love this shoe. It's cushioned. It's a balance of being cushioned, bouncy, lightweight. It kind of has everything mm -hmm. all in one. But then they have the Speed Elite that takes this shoe to the next level. And, you know, carbon plates are the thing now. So this one has the plate. It's essentially the same shoe, Hyperburst, but a little more stripped down. It's mm -hmm. just like the elite racer. The upper is super different. And I was told by Skechers, this shoe was not even meant to be released to the public. Like the people demanded this so much, <gasps> they made it public. So it's not cool. made for us. Yeah. They just allowing us to try it. But you're gonna come out, I think this fall. Okay. Uh, but I'll let you guys know, uh, links down below. I'll let you guys know the release dates when I find out. But yeah, this thing is very lightweight, mm -hmm. very stripped down. If there's someone who needs a lot of support, this ain't gonna have it. Mm -hmm. But as far as just straight up speed, I mean, it's probably one of the fastest distance shoes that I've ever tried. It's really snappy. Snappy, that's the word. Snappy. So, I feel like when choosing one or the other, it's gonna come down to two things. How elite are you? Mm -hmm. But this is a lot more versatile for more people to try. Sure. This one, it's going to be a very small percentage that benefits from this one as much as they could from this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, that's true because you're not really going to feel the benefit of this carbon unless you're really, really going pretty quick. Yeah, you got to be going quick. You got to be very efficient in your stride. And you mm. got to be moving. Grab your striking up here. Yeah. Every you're... time. This one gives you more flexibility. I think it's a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. The upper fits a little more accommodating. It's just a little more open for more people, including myself. That was the main thing I was gonna say, is you also would wanna evaluate the difference in the uppers and just the way they fit, because they fit very differently. This was, we both found it constricting in a different way. Um, you were, it was a little too narrow for you. It was a little too, it wasn't deep enough for me. Yeah, a little too shallow yeah. in, the, in the volume of the shoe. And yeah, this one takes a little, like, I don't know, this one took me like a day to break in, I was yeah, fine. No problems with this guy. But yeah, I mean, the weight difference, I mean, this one is lighter, but for the price, I think you're fine getting this one, or not this one, but no. This one? This one, I mean. You can't have the zebra. You can't have the zebra, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I think, I mean, this one's gonna be a, a premium, gonna have the, the good ear rubber compared to just like a generic uh -huh. rubber. I shouldn't call it generic, it's kind of mean, but well, you know, well. it's not branded as anything special. It works, uh, very lightweight. Coverage in the whole mm -hmm. midsole. Mm -hmm. Just some uh, midsole coverage on this one. A lot more exposed uh, hyperburst, which means you're not going to want to wear it as much as you would wear this. Yeah. It's going to get shredded up. Yeah. I so think, it's a little more special, special occasion shoe. Yeah, this is very specialized where this is a lot more versatile and what you can use it for. You can pretty much already see the foam like stripping off a little bit. Like I probably ran 
a mile to two miles in it. Um, yeah. So like after, if you were wearing this in a marathon, I would imagine it would be pretty shredded up after. Yeah, I think I got about, let's see, I had mine for about a month before you got yours. Um, I would say- Oh least, yeah. I'd say at least about 40 miles Feel the mine. difference. I mean- Yours is a lot softer. Oh yeah, mine's definitely, is, no, got beat up a little bit. So yeah, uh, durability, it's not meant to be yeah, a durable that's shoe. True, that's true. So I think value, you're going to get a lot more out of this one. Mm -hmm. But if you're persons who want like, you're going for that PR, mm -hmm. you're going for that 10K exactly. qualifier and whatever you're doing, the road races, it'll be worth it to you. If you're someone who's just racing just for fun, and it's mm -hmm. just a, a hobby. And that it's that's versatile. Yes. Like you can take it to your workouts too. Yes. So my vote from the perspective of someone who's like, I need a shoe, I want to try Skechers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna advise this one. Mm -hmm. I love this one, I mm -hmm. do. But for 185, I would think mm -hmm. more people are better off with this one. Yep. But if you're into the vapor flies and the carbon plate shoes, then yeah, you already know, this is definitely worth it if you're into that kind of shoe. Just the upper on this like feels very special to me and like, it's just nice. It's, it is nice. It's kind it, of translucent. It's a, it, you get excited when you It's pretty. It's it a on. pretty shoe. I know people hate Skechers, but it's a pretty shoe. I like it. But yeah. Well, you know, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. There's your three, Speed Elite. Have you tried this one? If you haven't, maybe you should. Um, I'll, leave a link, I'll leave a link down below. And with that said, be sure to stay in school. Don't do drugs, and if you can, please just try to keep it tight. Bye.